Casey Malco, I'm number 20, I'm a junior, and I'm a guard. Alexa Holland, junior guard, number 10. Ali Larkin, junior guard, number 30. Bailey Abbott, senior forward, number 24. Hi, I'm Keaton Stacey, I'm a junior, and I'm a forward, number 12. Grace Piper, freshman guard, number 14. Alexis Elliott, freshman guard, number 22. Kennedy Mosman, freshman center, 44. Morgan Ruff, freshman guard, number 32. I'm Alexa Garrison, number 40, and a sophomore forward. Emma Dahlquist, freshman center, number 54. Underway here at Rochester High School with the Lady Zebras controlling the tip. Keaton Stasiak across the timeline right now, top of the key to Larkin, swings high on the left side to Malco. 2 3 zone by the Lady Comets to X. Now to Malco, back to Holland, high on the right wing, three on the way for the Rochester Lady Zebras is good. We'll see a lot of that tonight from the Lady Zebras as the Lady Comets will be playing that zone. Here comes that half court trap by the Lady Zebras. Casson has it, hooked over the top of the defense to Taylor. Taylor, bounce pass in the baseline to Hook, has her pass tipped away, she gets it back on the right baseline, now the pass taken away by Holland. Rochester runs to our left, up 3-0, Holland high on the left side, hesitates, now works to the middle of the floor, outside right to Malco. Malco back to Holland to the volleyball line between the rings, works left wing out of the elbow, kicks it outside to Larkin. Larkin dribbles a couple of times, top to Malco, 2-3 zone by the cast and defense, Malco drives, dumps down a little Stasiak, puts the shot up, it's no good, fights for the rebound, puts it back, she's found on the shot, she'll go to the line, shoot two. 7.08 to play in the first quarter. Rochester up 3-0, and Keaton Stasiak wearing a brace now in her left leg, which I think probably helps Dad yeah, a little, little bit more than mine. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Keaton's first one on the way is good as it rolls over the front of the rim and falls through. Rochester up 4-0. Keaton was the leading scorer against CMA with 13. Boy, that was a physical game. It was. It was a nice, really nice, it might have been a nice test for Rochester. Well, it was good. It was good to from the free throw line for the Lady Zebra. Yeah. They struggled a lot there last year. It was good to see them have a game early in the season where they shot well from the line. The junior makes both. Rochester up five to nothing. A minute gone here in the first quarter. Rochester is coming with a half court trap defensively. Taylor dribbles right into that and lobs over to the defense to, to Klein. And then Klein's pass is taken away by Larkin. Larkin pushes down the floor, threads a needle, and then her pass is taken away by Klein, who gives off to Holt. Holt brings it up the floor, across the timeline right against Holland. Now the right wing behind the arc. Right side, right in front of St Coach Stasiak. Now top to Maddie uh, Taylor. Lady Zebra defense forced CMA into almost 30, 29 turnovers yeah. in that basketball. Well, that sounds all fine and well, but when you commit that same thing as a long three taken by Evans is no good, ball loose, and Abbott to pick it up. Rochester runs, left side is Holland. X, cross lane pass. Stasiak loses it, now to Malco, gives back to Larkin, she'll fire a three from the right baseline, it's short, no good, rebound, fall four, goes out of bounds, last touch by Bailey Abbott and the Lady Zebras, Cass going to get it back. Yeah, I was going to finish that thought, Rochester, you know, forced 26, 35 turnovers, yeah. whatever, but also gave it back to uh, Culver about 35 times, <laughs> right. 72 total turnovers in that basketball game, yuck. Taylor drives it inside the arc on the right wing. Now outside to Holt, Holt holds back to Taylor. Taylor resets now the middle of the circle. Rochester, no, what is that, 2-1-2, two, two. sure, 2-3, two, and Klein bounces it off her leg, out of bounds, it'll go back to Rochester. 5-0, Lady Zebras, 6 3 to play in the first quarter. Friday night, we're gonna mention this several times, Friday night, there is no JV game at LaVille because of the numbers for LaVille, so the varsity contest will start at 6-30 Friday night. Max Malco for three, in and out, no good. Abbott scores for the board. Outside now to Holland. Hers, jumper from the uh, left elbow goes. Alexa Holland has five of the seven points, and it's seven to nothing, Lady Zebras. 5.40 to play, first quarter. Kasten breaks the press. Maddie Taylor against the double team, runs over a Zebra and oh. commits an offensive foul. Taylor going to pick up her first team second. It was almost like a, a triple team because she was working against that sideline and also uh, Malco and, and uh, team, yeah. yeah. So coming in for the first time tonight is Emily Rowe, a 5'10 senior for the Lady Comets, and Klein comes out. 5.33 to play, first quarter. Rochester up 7 0, and the Lady Zebras of the basketball going to our left. Malco swings left side to Holland behind the arc, back to Malco, drives in the paint, dumps down Little Stasiak. Keaton's end is tied up with Rowe. And it's going to go to Casson on a Rochester turnover. Malco probably could have just pulled up and shot that as easily as, as the dump pass. And I got a feeling that she probably will do that next time. Yeah. 
But anytime you can get penetrate that two three zone, take yeah. that shot in the lane. Yeah, exactly. Taylor has her pass stolen by Stasiak. Team Stasiak right side of the lane. Stop. Pop. Good. Nine nothing. Rochester five ten to play in the first quarter. And a little half court trap by the Lady Zebras coming. Hold over the top of the defense to Taylor. Taylor tries to get it through the double team, and she's going to be tied up with Holland, and Rochester going to get it back after the Caston turnover. Caston has not attempted a shot yet. Ugh. he got six turnovers. 9-0 Rochester, 5 to play in the first quarter. The JV game tonight went to Rochester over Caston, 51-21. 2-3 zone by the Lady Comets in their defense. Malco loses the handle. Saved from going out of bounds by Abbott. Saved from going out of bounds by Larkin. Into the hands of Holland. Malco, top of the three. Key is good. 12-0 Rochester. 4.43 to play in the first quarter. And then uh, Taylor loses the handle out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Rochester. They'll stay with Cassin on the far side right at midcourt. 12-0 Rochester. 4.37 to play in the first quarter. Rowe gets it into Maddie Taylor. Taylor works against Malco, and here comes the half-court trap of Malco, and now Stasiak gets it over the top of the defense, holds right, stops, and she is tied up down low with Larkin, and it's going to stay with Kasten out of bounds baseline left, and good job by Allie Larkin, stood her ground and just put her hand on the ball on the shot. Baseline left now with Kasten. Hill looks to uh, make that uh, hook, gets, looks to get it in, her pass is almost going. And Malco couldn't save him going out of bounds. It'll stay with Kasten out of bounds baseline left. Bailey Hook will look to trigger it in for Kasten. Lady Zebra's up 12 to nothing with 4.24 to play in the first quarter. Hook looking, looking. Gets it into Holt. Outside left behind the arc. Swings right wing now to Evans. Her quick jumper from 15 feet. No good. Stasiak with the board and run. Stasiak then leads ahead to Holland. Holland left baseline. Pulls it back outside to Larkin. Now top of the key to Malco. Fakes the three. Drives it right. Now pulls it back outside the three-point line. Now to Holland. She'll take the three. It's no good. And a long rebound to Bailey Abbott and Rochester. Abbott to Holland. Holland left wing. Now to three throw line. Outside to Larkin. Larkin now left side to Malco. Feeds it down low to Abbott. She backs her way in. Loses the handle. Captain picks it up. And Holt runs the other way. Now to our right of the Lady Comet. 12-0 Rochester. And then... Holt loses it out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Becky Malco, and it will stay with Kasson. Mm, yeah, I'm not right. Sure I agree with that. I agree with that as well. <laughs> I'm with you. Kasson will make another substitution as Klein comes back into the game and Rowe to sit down. 3:48 to play, first quarter. Rochester up 12 nothing, and Bailey Hook right in front of the Rochester bench will trigger it in. Hook. Gets it on the baseline to Klein, over the top of the defense to Taylor at the elbow. She travels on the drive, and Rochester going to get it back. Malco will bring it up. Rochester by 12, 340 to play in the first quarter. Malco works high to the right side against the 2-3 zone. Middle of the floor, Nata Holland, back right wing to Malco. Malco drives inside the three-point line, pulls it back outside, Nata Holland. X drives it in the corner, 4-3, Larkin, no good. And the weak side rebound to Malco. Beats down low to Stasiak. Keaton Trap is fouled. So it'll key, uh, say Rochester basketball to bounce baseline right. Evans going to pick up her first, team third. Holland Wood looks triggered in. X study, study, study. Still looking to get it in. Down low to Stasiak to wrap around passes. Lost out of bounds by, uh, they're going to say last touch by Rochester. And it's going to go back to Caston. Hmm. That's another one, probably one pass too many. I took an odd yeah. angle as it yeah. didn't hit Caston. 12 0 Rochester, 3 15. The pass is stolen out by Malco. Becky Malco rises up, shot the glass is good. Timeout, Caston, 14 0 Rochester. And it is a 30. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Timeout, Caston, 3.09 to play in the first quarter. Rochester up 14 to nothing. 
And after the cast of timeout, the Lady Comets will have it underneath the Rochester basket. We'll need to go to Lincoln to the floor. Brad Thomas on David Musselman. Again, Rochester 2-0 at this point, ranked 17th this week, Class 3A. The Lady Comets 0-2. They played a pretty good lacrosse team uh, to open their season right. up there and then came back and uh, lost the tight one to North Miami on Saturday. Here comes a half-court trap by the Lady Zebra defense, and then a pass stolen by Holland. X will go in for the right-handed layup off the window is good. 16-0. Rochester on top. Three minutes to play in the first quarter, and this is exactly what Coach Burroughs feared the most. Is, uh, he said that Rochester is going to try to come out and hit us in the mouth. And at this point, yeah, that's exactly would, what's happened. I would say that's what's happened. Taylor loses the handle. Ball loose, throws it out of bounds. We're going to say last touch by Rochester. Castle will keep possession, baseline left. Looks so at, uh, uh, at this pace, Rochester, Coach Stasiak, he's got to keep his team focused through four quarters because you, know, you get a big lead and you start getting sloppy and get yeah. away from yeah. what you want to work on. Yeah. Hannah Cousins comes in for the first time for Caston. The lob pass comes into Holt. She stands about five feet behind the uh, arc of the left wing. Now top to Evan. Evan swings left side to Hook. Hook to Holt at the elbow. Holt in the lane. Rises up over the Bailey. Abbott, her shot is good. Nice looking shot by Holt. And it's 16 to 2 with two and a half to play in the first quarter. 2 3 zone by the uh, cast and defense. Malco left side to Holland. X, couple of dribbles. Now to Malco, high on the right side. Malco, crossover dribble. Rises up from 10 feet, high off the glass, no good. Holland with the rebound. X now behind the arc, lobs into Bailey Adams. She puts the shot up, it's good. 18 to two. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. Rochester will still be in that half court trap. Evans crosses the timeline. And now, quickly to Holt. Holt, out to Evans, right wing, behind the arc. Now to Hook, over the top of the defense to Cousins. Cousins cut off from the baseline against the double team. Gets it out to Holt. Now swings top of the key to Klein. Swings right side out of Evans. Evans drives it inside the arc. Throws it on 15 foot off, off the glass. No good. Bailey Abbott, the athleticism, grabs the board. Gives off to Malco. She runs. Hannah O'Dell in the game for the first time for the Rochester Lady Zebras. And then as Malco driving to the basket, Evans is going to pick up the reach-in foul. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester with 93 seconds to play in the first quarter. Evans will pick up first second. Back into the game is Keaton Stasiak. And Larkin will come out. Second foul. Did you say that already? Yeah. By Evans? I only half listen sometimes. That's all right. <laughs> hey, at least it's half. Holland for three, right wing. Good as a bank home. 21 to 2. A minute 20 to play in the first quarter. And Caston just about throws it away again. But uh, Holt picks up a loose basketball. Runs it runs through the center circle. Ball loose. Picks it up. Gets it to Cousins. Now right side of Klein. She throws up the 10-footer. No good. Stasiak with a rip and run. Stasiak right side of the floor. Hesitates. Now gives the corner to Holland. Fakes the three. Outside to Malco. Becky in the lane. And she's going to be fouled on the reach in with a minute to play in the first quarter. Out of bounds to Rochester underneath the basket baseline right. Evans picks up her third. So Holland looks to Nope, it'll be on the sideline. I beg your pardon. Daisy X into Malco under a minute to play. First quarter, 21 to 2, Rochester. Holland left wing. Drives to the middle of the floor inside the arc, outside of the volleyball line to Malco. Malco between the ring, holds. Cass is still in that 2-3 zone. Coach Stasiak wants to pull it out and run some clocks. Cross-court passing right now between Holland and Malco. Malco holds about five feet inside the 10-second uh, line. Now back to Holland. Drives it around the defense. Now pulls it back outside with 33. Malco holds with 32. Malco holds with 29. Malco near the timeline, holds with 26. Now drives with 25. Gives in the corner to Odell. Odell with 22. Out to Stasiak with 20. Outside of Malco with 18. She brings the top of the key and resets with 16. Malco dribbles with 14. Malco middle of the floor, dribbles with 10. Malco drives it right inside the three-point line. Goes to the basket, throws up a shot with eight. It's good. With five, with four. Cousins has it with two. And not going to get a shot off before the buzzer. After one, Rochester leads 23-2. to two. You're listening to Ladies Eva Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Two minutes, 20 seconds to play 
In the first half, the Lady Zebras up 32 to four. The Muscleman in the game for the first time. She's gonna have about a six inch height advantage over anybody else on the floor. And she came in for Morgan Ruff. Yeah, you're right. Got to use it. Athletically. Malco, three, right side. No good. Weak side rebound to Holland. X with the basketball. Stands behind the arc and left uh, baseline. Now out to Malco. She'll reset with 2.05 to play in the first half. Malco forces the pass down low off the bottom of the backboard. Bailey Abbott with the basketball and then is fouled hard by Cousins. And that's going to send Abbott to the line for one and the bonus of 2.03 to play in the first half. Cousins will pick up her first. That's the seventh on the Lady Comet. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Coming up at halftime, Rex Reinhold, the guys head coach, will be with us. And we'll kind of preview the the, uh, the season for them. They open next Wednesday here at home uh, with the Culver Cavaliers. We'll have a brand new look. Trent Elliott is gone. Thank goodness. Free throws no good. Rebound fall for. Ball loose. Kasten picks it up. Kasten now runs. Holt. Brings it up the floor, works right side. She almost has her pocket picked by Holland, who rolls into the Rochester bench. It'll be out of bounds to Cassidy right in front of Rochester. And uh, don't forget, Friday night, there is no JV game, so the varsity contest will start at 6.30 at LaVille. Holt lobs it in over the defense and gives the Cousins. 150 to play, first half. Cousins works right wing. Cut off by Musselman on the defense. Now outside to Holt. Holt. Drives around Musselman. The reverse layup is no good. Kennedy is aboard. Fights hard for it. Grabs it. Now gives off to Malco. Rochester runs. 135 to play in the first half. At the elbow, Malco outside to Holland. Holland in the paint. Goes to the basket hard. Throws up a prayer. No good. Rebound fault for She comes out of there with it. X to Malco. Becky stops. Pop. No good. Rebound to Abbott. Bailey on the baseline, bounce pass out to At Malco. Now he gives to Holland with a minute 10 to play in the first half. Now to Malco, Becky around the defense, foul on the drive, she'll go to the line to shoot one in the bonus. A minute seven to play in the first half. Cousins is gonna pick up her second. Stasiak and Larkin comes back in for Rochester. Hook will come back in for Caston. And Holland. And Malco will, uh, well, Malco will come out if she hits both free throws. Morgan Ruff will come back in, and she'll replace Bailey Abbott. A minute seven to play in the first half. Rochester up 32 to four. At the free throw line is Becky Malco. The junior eyes it, flies it. No good. Barely draws iron. And no, no they're not. They're going to say it didn't even touch iron. So I guess that's one way to come out without hitting a free throw, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Malco comes out of the game. Dad just kind of chuckles as she walks by him. <laughs> Morgan Ruff back into the game. Cousins with the basketball. 57 seconds to play first half. Ruff in Cousins' jersey. Got to get rid of it. Finally does backdoor to Hook, who loses the basketball on the down low. Gives to Klein. She throws a shot up. It's good. Klein has four of the six points and it's 32-6. 40 seconds to play in the first half. Cross court pass to Larkin. Now to Stasiak, who runs the point top of the key. 36 seconds. Stasiak drives it right, kicks it outside to Ruff. Ruff behind the arc on the right wing with 30. Now to Larkin, top of the key, back to Ruff, high on the right side. Down to Musselman. Her turn around, Tim Butter is good. Kennedy's first varsity points of her career. And it comes from a 15-footer with 15 seconds to play in the first half. It's 34 to 6. Cousin to Hook. Hook drives it right to the baseline with 10. Kicks it outside to Klein with 10. Throws the ball away into the hands of Odell with 7. Gives to Ruff with 6. Morgan Ruff runs with 4. Ruff goes right side, goes to the basket with 2. And she's fouled with, on the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot 2 with 1.9 to play in the first half. Number 4, Addison Taylor. And the line for the Shooting. Taylor's going to pick up her second. Morgan Ruff. The 5-4 freshman at the line to shoot two for the Lady Zebras. Eyes it, flies it, net. She'll have one more. But she was fouling the shot, Bob. Second one by Ruff, no good. Rebound fall for her, and we're gonna have a push. 
with 1.3 to play in the first half. Foul on Kennedy. 1.3 to play in the first half. Cousins gets it and gets off a shot at the buzzer. At halftime, Rochester leads 34 to 6. You're listening to Lady Fever Basketball, 92.1 WROI. Third quarter we go. The Lady Zebras of the basketball going to our right now, leading 34 to 6. Rex Reinhold still here joining us. We're talking a little bit about the guy's season as Keaton Stasiak dribbles to the elbow. Now to Bailey Abbott. Now right side to Holland. Holland behind the arc. Swings left side to Malco. She drives it in the paint. Cut off by the defense. To Holland in the lane. Throws up a shot. No, con uh, no call on the contact. Gets her own rebound. Back out outside to Lark Larkin. Her three on the way short. And the rebound to Caston. Holt runs. Coach Burris says, let's run. Holt up to four. Gives down low. Ball tipped away. Larkin picks it up. Now to Abbott. Back to Larkin. I know we talked a little bit up to uh, Dan Bailey. I did, I guess, before the JV game. And uh, he says, Holland fires a three from the right wing. It's good. 37 to 6. And he's telling me that Holland is shooting lights out. Alec Holland. Uh, and a lot of that comes because of that Noah machine. Oh, it is. Uh, he, he has spent, you know, uh, out of all of our kids so far uh, in the offseason, he spent the most time on that thing. And, I mean, he's, he's worn, worn it out, you know, which is excellent. And that's what we've gotten him for. Our younger kids are kind of working on it. Uh, we're, we're incorporated into our practices when we're in the auxiliary gym. Uh, so it's something that we're, we're using. Uh, you kind of caught the tail end of a shooting drill that we yep. did. Uh, last year we ran this drill. It took, us, it took us about six tries to get it under a minute. We cut uh, 32 seconds off of our first time today uh, on that shooting drill in here just because I think of Vanilla. I mean, we've got kids that can find the basket. And it's just that consistent muscle memory. And, and uh, I think you're going to see a, a really nice year out of, out of Alec Farr. is just a complete player. He's really put on a lot of mass and, and uh, change. Uh, I'm excited for the year to start. Bailey Abbott gets the pass down low. Now to Malco. She rises up in the lane off the window. It's good. Rochester up now 39 to 6. Maddie Taylor missed a bucket on the other end of the floor. Rochester the rebound. And then Lady Zebra's now up by 33. And Cousins will now come in in the next opportunity for Cassin. Visiting with the guys head coach uh, Rex Reinhold. We'll obviously talk to him before the Culver game. But uh, kind of talking in a little preview. Uh, of the upcoming uh, basketball season for the uh, the guys portion of it. Of course, uh, Rochester opens next Wednesday uh, home with the Culver Cavaliers, who has a brand new look, starting from personnel down all the way to the coach. Yeah, uh, kind of revamped everything. Tom Kruger's the new head coach. Uh, been there as a varsity assistant for many, many, many years. But then they've got Shane Lowry back on. Uh, he was there for a while and took a took a departure. And then Chris Davis, I think, is the JV coach. So uh, familiar faces for me. Uh, those guys were older than me in school. So. Um, <laughs> Oh, that block is uh, corny than I are they? <laughs> after, yeah, they, they go crazy after a three, and that time Holland drives uh, that home. It's 42 to 6 now, Rochester. As Taylor works high on the right side, gives him the corner to Klein behind the arc. Klein studies against Stasiak. One dribble. Top two. Holt gives him the corner to Evan. Evan against Malco. Rochester running a lot more man to man defense in this half with five minutes to play in the third quarter, 42 to 6. And visiting with the Rex Reinhold. A lot of tenacity, a lot of grit coming back from your guys. Yes, uh, and that's what, that's what I like, you know, about this group of guys is we got guys that are on the floor that are after it, that are scrappy, that are, uh, you know, very similar to what we're seeing with the girls out here. You know, and I've just watched these. I've watched them play now. I mean, this is the second game I've seen them play uh, in person. I've watched the Twin Lakes film on, on, on uh, tape. But, I mean, this is probably the quickest athletic group of guy, girls that he's had since, yeah. you know, it might have been 10, 12 years. Yeah, you know, they right. had them that quick. But uh, you know, that's something that we have different this year. We have some quicker kids. We have some more athletic kids this year. Uh, we're a little young to start with, but uh, give them a few years in. Enough of those younger kids that we've had have played enough basketball. But, you know, uh, we're hoping for good things and um, kind of build on where we left off at the tours at the end of this last year's season. Madison Taylor loses the basketball out of bounds, goes back to Rochester, leading 42-6. to, uh, 42 to six with four and a half to play in the third quarter. Malco, no look pass to Larkin, three on the way, right side, nope. And the rebound fall for knocked out of bounds by Rochester. We'll go back to Caston. Well, how do you see the TRC shaping up? Um, well, this is how my view from Rochester. I've looked east over there, and I think everybody has to play for second as you look at them on paper with what Manchester returns and what they had um, come in uh, in the offseason with uh, the Zolman kid and the kid from uh, Whitco. So, um, I mean, I... I see those guys being towards the top, and uh, I see us, you know, in the middle somewhere. And I think there's going to be a lot of teams that are going to be very equal. 
Uh, and it's going to be who can separate and uh, who can who can win at home and who can who can sneak one or two out on the on the road, you know, to to, to finish up there towards the top. But uh, you know, I, I can't say wins and losses, but I think we should be right there in the mix, about mid midway through the pack uh, in the TRC, and then you know if something happens, we can maybe get Manchester here because we get to come to our place and we played yeah. them uh, down to the wire last year yeah. uh, over there at their place. So um, you know, we'll gladly welcome them into the uh, into the jungle here and uh, see what happens that night. Well, Rex, I appreciate your time here at halftime and a little bit into the third quarter. The best of luck to you and the guys this year, and I will talk to you uh, Wednesday night before the, the varsity contest here with Culver. Sounds good. Okay. The band train begins, all right? Absolutely. Here we go. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Again, uh, Zebra head coach Rex Reinholt, we appreciate his time here uh, at halftime and into the third quarter a little bit, previewing the season. And uh, as we let Brad slide back in here, the Lady Zebra's up 44-6 to six with 3.50 to play in the third quarter as Becky Malco is fouled as she goes to the basket. Boy, the intensity, defensive intensity has not uh, lost a step here in the not, second half. Not waned at all, no. And uh, Alexa Holland now has got four three-pointers in this basketball game. So into the, back into the game is Madison Taylor for Casson, and Evans sits down. Hannah Odell comes back in for Rochester, and Keaton Stasiak to sit. Three minutes to play. I beg your pardon. 3.48 to play in the third. Holland picks the way through traffic. Throws up a shot, no good. Rebound, fall four. And then she and Klein is tied up, and it's going to start uh, stay with Rochester. I, this is the most I've seen X in the paint this year. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's, uh, you know, she's right at the right height with everybody else on the floor <laughs> in this ball game. Holland, no look pass into Larkin to the right corner. Hey, 5-5-6 five, five, will get you in a, in a center position tonight. <laughs> Rebound, no, or the shot, no good. Bailey Abbott to the board, out to Larkin. Larkin swings left side to Malco, sends behind the arc, flies it inside, now kicks it out to Larkin. She'll fire a three from the wing. It's short, and the rebound to Caston. Holt runs, middle of the floor. Holt, coast to coast, stop, pop, nope. Rebound, fall four, ball's loose. Becky Malco comes streaking out of there with it. She'll go in for the left hand, and lap, it's good. 46 to six, and Morgan Rubb will come back into the basketball game, as will a row for Caston. Three minutes of play in the third quarter. Rochester up. 46 to 6 and the, the defense right now for Rochester smothering Taylor with the basketball with Holland in her jersey out to Cousins stands behind the arc on the left wing now top to Taylor with 245 to play in the third quarter Taylor directs traffic between the rings now hold high on the right side hold steady hold live pass down to the Cousins Cousins and Larkin then ties up and it'll stay with Cassin baseline left Ruff back in and row back in you know, when you get a game like this where, where it's lopsided on one direction and you're on the high end of that lopsided, it's really tough to try and keep your team mentally into the ball game. Yeah. You, know, you, you want your team to play at a high level every single game. You don't want to let down when you get a big big lead. So X comes out of the game. Also, Becky Malco comes out, and the two freshmen, Ruff and Musselman, in. Taylor's three, no good, and the rebound to Abbott, who gives to Larkin. Larkin pushes it up the floor, through the center circle, now works to the right wing, hesitates, lob pass down little Musselman, her jumper from the elbow, or from the block is no good, too hard, and the rebound to Caston. Holt, quickly up the floor, hesitates, now accelerates, throws up a shot, no good, rebound, fall four, and Taylor comes out of there with it. Madison Taylor resets between the rings for Caston with 2.12 to play in the fourth, uh, third quarter, Rochester up 46 to six, Row, five feet behind the arc on the right wing. Left to Taylor. Madison Taylor holds. Feeds down low. Ball loose. Bailey Abbott comes down with it. Gives to Larkin. Larkin brings it up the fourth. Crosses through the center circle. Now we'll get a pick from Musselman. Gives him the corner to Odell. Odell down low to Kennedy. Kennedy in the paint. Her jumper no good. Gets her own rebound. The putback is good. And it's 48 to 6. Musselman just didn't uh, give up on that one. She put it up, no good. Got her own rebound and put it back up. Got to keep those stats padded up. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> what we talked about at the the table. 48-6. to six. Rochester on top. Rowe holds the basketball. Man-to-man -man defense by Rochester. To Taylor. Taylor behind the arc against Larkin. Drives it in the middle. Stops. Block, shot block. But the official is going to say that uh, Larkin got a little body and that's going to send Madison Taylor to the line to shoot two for the Lady Comets. A minute 16 to play in the third. Rochester up 48 to 6. And two free throws for Taylor. For Madison Taylor, for Casson, the senior. First trip to the free throw line for Casson. 
Maddie's first one is good, so I have one more. Rochester's committed two fouls in this game. Climb back into the game and row to come out. 48 to 7. Rochester on top. One more coming for the senior. Maddie Taylor eyes the second one, flies it. Free throw's good. Ruff gets it into Larkin, and Morgan now will run the point. She'll run it through the center circle, works against Taylor, works to the right wing. Now a lot pass to Larkin. Larkin behind the arc, dribbles away from trouble. Now to Ruff. Ruff gets a pick from Musselman on the roll. Ruff takes it right. Now to Odell with under a minute to play in the third quarter. Ruff fakes the three, drives the baseline. She's going to be fouled by Hook, and it's going to be out of bounds to Rochester. Baseline right with 54.7 to play in the third. Again, Lady Zebra's up 48-8. to eight. Hook will pick up her first. Ruff will look to trigger it in, baseline right. Morgan slaps the basketball, sends things in motion. Gets it into Musselman. Kennedy, jumper from the block is good. Nice job of stealing the defense off behind her. She's got six. Making the bank shot. 50-8. to eight. Rochester on top with 40 seconds to play in the third. Ruff inside Cousins' jersey. Picks up the dribble at the volleyball line. Gives outside high to Klein. High with 35. Going to have an illegal screen or a travel? Yeah, illegal screen. And Cousins is going to pick up the foul on the illegal screen. Turnover Racha, uh, Caston. That'll be her third. 34.3 to play in the third. Rochester will probably look for the final shot of the period if I know Coach Stasiak. Ruff gives him the corner to Odell. Odell, lob pass down low to Muscle and loses it. Ball fall for o Hannah. Uh, make that Bailey Abbott comes out of there with a 20. Ruff in the corner. Dribbles to the top of the key with 15. Ruff backs her way out with 12. Works left side. Picks up her dribble. Now with the defense to Odell with 8. Odell back to Ruff with 7. Gives to Larkin with 6. Larkin drives it with 4. Drives the baseline. And then cut off in the baseline. We're going to have a blocking foul on Caston. Uh, hold. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester with 2.6 to play in the third. Rex, who was winning the first game tonight? Was that number one or number five tonight going to the first game? College basketball? <laughs> Larkin. Shot at the buzzer. Nope. After three, Rochester leads 50 to eight. You're listening to Lady Zebra Basketball on 92.1 WROI. Fourth and final quarter we go here at Rochester. The Lady Zebra's up 50 to eight. And a hot shooting from the floor, especially for uh, Alexa Holland. Yeah, she's got 18 now in the ball game, uh, four three-pointers. So pretty good night for her. Malco with 13 tonight. She's got a three-pointer. Lady Zebra's a four three-pointers overall, or six three-pointers overall. Four of those coming early in this basketball game, yes? Uh, three up in the first yeah. quarter. Yeah. Okay. So Rochester starts the basketball, or starts the fourth quarter of the basketball. Stasiak, Malco, Musselman, Holland, and Odell on the floor for Rochester. Taylor, Cousin, pass down low to Kennedy, Musselman, wide open jumper is good. Klein, uh, Holt, and Hook on the floor for Caston. Kennedy has eight, matches her JV total tonight. JV won, by the way, 51-21. Holt for three, no good, rebound up Malco. Becky now will slow up, will bring it up the floor, crosses the timeline and accelerates. Malco on the right elbow, outside to Stasiak. Keaton drives it, quickly to X, swings right side to Malco. Becky looks to lob it down low, good job by a client on the defense. Malco on the baseline, cut off by the defense, now high on the right side to Holland. X to Malco, cross court to Stasiak, 4-3. No good, rebound to Muscleman, her putback is good! 54-8, to eight. Rochester on top, a minute gone in the fourth quarter. Worked hard to get that offensive board. She did, right place, right time. Yep. Understanding of the ball coming off on the weak side. Casson sets up their half-court offense as Taylor drives it left, gives him the corner to Hook. Hook against Stasiak, cut off, back to Taylor. Taylor, one dribble going to her right, over the top of the defense to Cousins. Cousins in the corner to Klein. Klein's jumper over Becky Malco bangs in. Klein with six now for Caston. 24 to 10. Rochester, uh, make that 54 to 10. Rochester up with six and a half to play in the game. Malco, middle of the floor, gets a pick. 
from Odell. Works left side to Holland. Holland between her legs dribble. Steps back. Gives to Malco. Malco cross court to Stasiak. Keaton study. Drives it right. Looks to get it inside. Kent. Good defense by Klein. Now to Holland in the paint. Throws up a shot. Foul on the shot. Two on the line to shoot two. Fouls on Klein, her third. So X will go to the line to shoot two. First one is good. Uh, Abbott and Russ coming back in for the first time tonight. Grace Pfeiffer comes into the game. Coming out is Malco, Stasiak, and Musselman. Holland at the line to shoot one more, and uh, Allie Larkin will replace her. She hits the the bucket. Emily Rowe back in for Kasson, inclined to sit. Next second one, good. And now Coach Stasiak will use a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Rochester Basketball, 92.1 WRLI. Six to play in the basketball game. Rochester at 56 to 10. And Rochester, after their 30-second timeout, will be on defense. Cassie comes out, Maddie with Taylor and Cousins will bring the ball to the floor. Also Rowe, Holt, and Hill on the floor for Lady Comet. Rochester will fall back in a 1-3-1 zone. On top of that, the zone will be Ruff, the three in the middle will be Piper, Odell, and Larkin, and down low will be Abbott. Under six to play in the game. Rochester up 56-10. Maddie Taylor outside the hook. Hook pass is tipped away and stolen by Ruff. Morgan Ruff loses the handle. Now picks it up and loses it again. She's got Holt in her hip pocket. She's going to have to hurry. She gets it across to Piper. Piper high on the right side. And her wraparound pass is taken, uh, knocked out of bounds by Hook. It'll be Rochester basketball out of bounds baseline right. Bounce pass comes into Russ. She drives the baseline, and she is going to be fouled hard by Hook. And it'll be out right to Sebastian out of bounds. Base run right again. Hook will pick up her second. Fifth. Piper looks to get it in. Does so to Abbott, who touches it. Oh, yep. She got away with a touch because she did touch it after, after Holt touched it. And... Neither one of the other officials saw it. <laughs> I saw that from here, and that was in the far corner from yeah. us. Grace Pfeiffer, baseline left. Joel Burris not happy. I agree with him. Bur uh, Pfeiffer looks to get it in over the top of the defensive rough. Drives it right, and she is fouled going hard to the basket. She'll go to the line to shoot one in the bonus. Is that Cousins going to be picking the foul? 14, that's Cousins. Her fourth. So Morgan Ruff at the line to shoot. One of the bonus. She had 12 in the JV contest. Five and a half to play in the basketball game. First one by the freshman is good. She'll have one more. Ruff fires the second one. Good again. 58 to 10. Cousins pushes for the Lady Comets. Rochester in 1-3-1 one, one zone defensively. Drives it right. Cut off by the defense. Now top it over the uh, defense to Taylor. Quickly to Hook. Back to Taylor. Maddie. Bounce pass to Hook on the baseline. Back to Taylor behind the arc on the left wing. 5-15 to play in the game. Lexi Elliott and Dahlquist will come in at the next opportunity for Rochester. Emma and Lexi in. Bailey Abbott and Allie Larkin, more than likely, Brad down to the night, right? Larkin will finish with three. And, uh, Abbott had two. So, Kasson has it going to our left. Rochester up 58 to 10. Hook with the basketball out to Taylor. She'll fire three. Blocked by Grace Piper. And picked up by Odell. Now back to Piper to Ruff. To Piper on the baseline. Outside to Ruff, swings left side to Elliott. Lexi, drives it left, couple of dribbles, loses the handle, picked up by Kasson. Cousins runs, right side of the floor. Cousins loses the handle, picked up by Dahlquist. Now to Odell, she gives to Ruff, 4.30 to play in the game. 
Rochester up 58 to 10. Don't forget Friday night's game. There is no JV contest, so the varsity game will start at 6.30 at LaVille. We'll be on about 6. That's right. Elliott, left wing, dribbles, dribbles around the defense, runs into a wall. She's going to be tied up, and it's going to go back to Cap. No, no, no we're going to foul. foul. Wow, really? So Lexi will go to the line to shoot one in the bonus with 4.15 to play. It's going to be Cousin Smith. I think she was hoping for a tie-up, and I, obviously I was. So it'll be the fifth foul on Cousins, and that's going to send Coach Burris to the bench, and he'll have to bring in Evans. 4.15 to play in the game. Lexi Elliott, another freshman for the Lady Zebras, in line for one and the bonus. She, too, had 12 in the JV contest. Lexi, eyes the first one. Let it fly. It is good. She'll have one more. Her first varsity points. Four freshmen and a sophomore on the floor right now for Rochester. Lexi will have one more. Second on the way. High arching shot. Had some rotation. Goes through. It's 60 to 10. Two three zone for Rochester's defense. Is that a diamond and one? I don't know. I don't know. It's not a man to man, though. <laughs> we'll give you that. It is a zone. I give you that. <laughs> Hook. Cross court pass to Evans behind the arc. Now to the elbow. The row back to Evans behind the three point line. Over the top of the defense to Taylor. Maddie Taylor against Ruff. Has her pass tipped away and stolen by Elliott. And then Elliott is tackled and she'll go to the line to shoot. One in the bonus. 3.43 to play in the game. Rochester is comfortably in front. And Lexi Elliott will go back to the line to shoot one of the bonus for the Lady Zebras. How many in doubles? Uh, just Holland and Malco and Musselman. Lexi Elliott eyes the first one, lets it fly. It is no good in and out. And Odell with a rebound is tipped out of bounds by Rochester. We'll go back to Caston. Alexa Garrison will be ready on Saturday, I think Tony said, coming off her injury. Good. So they will be completely healthy come the weekend. Well, if everything goes right. Right, yeah. Rose, follow away jumper on the baseline is no good. Dalk with skies for the board and rips it. And bounce pass now to Elliott. She gives off to Ruff. Morgan Ruff will bring it up the floor. Drives it right, cut off of the defense over the top to Elliott. Down low to Dahlquist, and the pass is kicked away. Uh, by Holden will stay with Rochester at 3.19 to play in the fourth quarter as the Muscleman will come back into the game and she'll replace Ruff. 60 to 10, Rochester up with 3.19 to play in the game. Pass comes in to Lexi Elliott and actually goes out of bounds. They're going to go back to Caston with 3.19 to play. Still four freshmen and a sophomore on the floor. Pass for the basketball going to our left. Taylor at the elbow. Kicks it outside to Evans behind the arc on the left wing. Back to Taylor. Maddie Taylor's three is in and out. No good. Rebound fall four. And he'll uh, make that hook. Comes out of there with it. We're going to have a foul in Rochester. It'll be out of bounds to Kasten. Baseline left. Three minutes to play in the game. Again, Rochester back in action on Friday night as they travel to LaVille. At the varsity game only. 6.30 start. Pass is tipped away, right into the hands of Taylor, and she is blocked by Musselman, and then we're going to have a travel. travel. Travel on Kennedy. Taylor only gives up about seven, eight inches. <laughs> That's being generous, I think. <laughs> Baseline right are the Lady Comets. Hook, and now we're going to have an illegal, well, I'm not sure what that's going to be called, but it's going to be a uh, legal illegal. post up or something <laughs> on Holt. That's her third. So that's going to be her third. So Rochester has the basketball back, up 60 to 10. Grace Piper outside, dribbles to the top. Nikita Odell. Odell now between the rings, 
Right side pass to Elliott. Dribbles around the defense. Gives to Piper. Quickly left side to Odell. Down low to Dahlquist. Dahlquist backs away in. Throws up a shot. No good. Muscle to the rebound. The putback is good. 62 to 10. Kennedy has 12. Two and a half to play in the game. Evans, high on the left side. 2-3 zone by the Lady Seavers. Or a diamond in one, maybe. Or a 1-2-2 two, two zone. Let's call it that. All right. 1-2-2. Two, two. That works for me. All right. Works for me. Matty Taylor's three on the way is good. First three of the night for Caston. And it's 62-13. to 13. Little four-quarter man-to-man -man action. Press action by Caston. Uh, and Pfeiffer will bring it around the center circle. Gives to Odell. Down a little Musselman, and she travels. She got a little excited. Kennedy was all Wide by herself open. in the block. <laughs> Couldn't get it to her quick enough. Under two to play in the game, 62 to 13. Rochester on top. Got a double header weekend for you here on WROI. Maddie Taylor three on the way again. No good. Musselman at the board. And she clears to Elliott. Minute 45 to play in the game. Elliott drives it left. Down low. Back to back outside to Odell. Odell brings the top of the key. Now goes in the middle of the lane. Ball loose. Ball tipped around and Kasson has it. Maddie Taylor with the basketball left side of the floor. Stop. Cut off on the block. Outside to Holt. Her three on the way is in and out. No good. And Dahlquist skies to the board who gives to Piper. Piper runs. A minute 20 to play. Leads down low to Kennedy Muscle and her layup on the way is no good. Gets her a reback. Rebound and she's going to be fouled. And that's going to send Musselman to the line to shoot two with a minute 16 to play in the game. With Rochester leading 62 to 13. Rowe will pick up her first. The six foot freshman at the line to shoot two. Eyes the first one. It's on the way. Nothing but net. She'll have one more. Surprises me sometimes. <laughs> One more coming. Kennedy, one dribble. Hines a second one. Let's it fly. Good again. 14 points tonight for the youngster. 64 to 13. Any rotation on that? It was rotation. Was there rotation? Yep. All right. Evans. <laughs> Back to Maddie. <laughs> Taylor to Evans for three. Nope. And it goes out of bounds. And they're going to say last touch by Rochester. On the deflection, it'll stay with Kasson baseline left with one uh, minute three to play in the basketball game. Hook looks to get it in and knocked out of bounds by uh, Odell. It'll stay with Kasson baseline right. 64 to 13, Rochester up. Hook looks to trigger it in. Hook, look, look to Holt. Holt's jumper on the way is no good. Rebound. Ball four, and Elliott comes out of the with it and loses it out of bounds. 56 seconds to play in the game. Rochester starters have been out most of this quarter. Most of the quarter, yeah. yeah. 55 seconds. Evans against the 2-3 zone. To Taylor, her three, nope. Muscle to the board. Kennedy grabs it, gives to Pfeiffer, and then throws it away. Holt then is fouled on the shot. Still going to line to shoot two. You keeping turn individual turnovers? No, I got that one. Oh, okay. 45 seconds to play in the game, and Sarah holds the 5'9 senior at the line to shoot two for the Lady Comet. Holt eyes it, flies it, no good. She'll have one more. Both coaches still coaching with 45 seconds to go in the game, and this one obviously in hand. Second one by Holt is good. I like to see that. Full court press by Caston. Odell gets the inbounds pass from Piper. Odell. Well, both teams have a lot of freshmen, a lot of young players. So it's never too late to learn something. Yeah, you're right. Sexy Elliott backs away in the three-point line to Piper. Piper drives it right. Cut off by the defense. Outside to Odell with 29. Odell bounce pass to Piper with 25. Wrap around pass down low to Kennedy Musselman. Kicks it back outside to, uh, to Piper. Straight Piper and throws the ball out of bounds. They're going to say last touch by Caston with 18.8 to play in the game. And it'll be Rochester basketball baseline right. Piper looks to get it in. Gets it into Odell with 17. Hannah at the elbow right. Outside to Piper. Down low to Musselman. Kennedy on the block. Kicks it outside to Piper with eight. Grace backs it out with seven. 
at the timeline with five. Grace with two, with one, and that'll do it. The Lady Zebras defeat the Cast and Commons tonight, 64 to 14. The postgame show coming up next on 92.1 WROI.